hello and welcome back to the channel so today i want to show you a quick trick on how to use your seam ripper so this is a seam ripper and we use it to rip off or use it to take out thread from your clothes or rip off your clothes into two so on this seam ripper we have two edges or two mouths or two head whatever you want to call it one with a sharp edge and this other one with the red dot knowing the exact one to use when ripping off your clothes or ripping off whatever it is you are making will help you not to rip off the clothes itself right so i want to show you how to use your seam ripper the right way because so many times so many times before i got to know how to use it the right way i tore what i was supposed to just rip off a thread but trust me i tore the clothes and i have seen a lot of people make these mistakes so today let's just get it right now let me use this piece of fabric here to show you an example so assuming we want to use this other part this sharp edge of the seam ripper the one without the red dot this is what we are likely to get so i'm just going to use this now ripping off this thread off with this and i'm just going to try and rip this off let's go with a little force we're just trying to rip this up whoa 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 see 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 this was not intentional trust me just a little force and see we've ripped up this clothes to spot the clothes. imagine i was making this for a client or imagine you are working for a client or making you ready to wear and this mess just happens right so that is why you are not to use this sharp edge, the part without the dots. Don't use it when ripping off your clothes. You will spoil your clothes. You will spoil whatever it is you are ripping off. But now let's use the one with the dots. Let's turn it this way. And see what we are going to get. The same force I'm using, I used at the first one. Let's use the same force for this other part. The red, the side with the red. Let's do that. So meaning the part with the red ball will be down and the sharp one without any balls will be up all right so i'm just going to give this a push can you see 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 nothing happened to our clothes with the same force in fact more force than the first one and see see how it's just going straight ripping it off see you just ripped off your clothes like took off the thread this is the best way to use a seam ripper okay now let's work with this add fabric Using the first one, okay, the sharp part of the sharp edge of this seam ripper, let's see what we we'll get again. So I'm just going to pull this in and I'm just going to pull a first. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. It was just too much. See, imagine you are making a client's clothes and this happens. Imagine. Now let's do it the correct way. The right way it should be done. And see what we we'll get here let's see okay now I'm just going to push this in look at look at it with so much force and the thing is just going smoothly because this is what this is how it is meant to use this is how it was produced to be used I've seen a lot of people make this mistake I hope after this video you are not going to make this mistake again if you find this video helpful please do well to subscribe to the channel Turn on your bell notification and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.